students welcome to maths class in today's video we will going to learn about shapes like solid shapes concept of point line line segment and ray straight and curved lines and some questions related to the topic for our practice so now let's start with different types of solid shapes these are cylinder cube cuboid cone and sphere first one is cylinder cylinder is having two edges two flat face one curved face and zero corners next one is cube and cuboid cube and cuboid both are having 12 edges six flat face zero curved face and eight corners the difference in cube and cuboid is that cube is having square faces and cuboid is having rectangular faces example of cube is dice and example of cuboid is duster next is cone and cone is having one edge one curved face one flat face and one corner or vertex at last is sphere sphere is having only one curved face point point is in exact position or location on a plane surface points are always denoted by capital letters for example dot a is a point line line is a figure which has only length but no width for example thread next line can be extended indefinitely in both the direction as we see in the figure here line ab is having arrows at the end that means ab is a line line segment a portion of a line with two ends is called a line segment here line ab with dot at the end represent line segment ray ray is a part of a line it can be extended endlessly in one direction because if we see in the figure here the line is having one dot at one end and an arrow at the another end which means that it can be extended only in one direction now let's learn about different types of straight lines sleeping line is called horizontal line standing line is called vertical line slant line is called an oblique line curved lines 
a line which is not straight is called a curved line. Now, let's learn some more facts about circle. First one is circumference, the line which makes the boundary of the circle is called its circumference. Next is center. Here in the given diagram, O is called the center of the circle. Next is diameter. The line joining any two points on the circumference and passing through the center is called the diameter of the circle. Here, length AB denotes diameter of the circle. Now, it's time to do some practice questions. Complete the following sentences. Question number one. The two solid shapes having same number of faces and corners are cube and cuboid. Cube and cuboid both are having six faces and eight corners. The solid shape with two circular bases is cylinder. A solid shape with one vertex is cone. And the solid shape having six faces, twelve edges and eight corners is cuboid. Next, the line joining the center to any point on the circumference of the circle is called radius of the circle. Thank you children for watching this video.